Do you have a ballot? No, I do not. I I am staunchly against top players ever getting a ballot. It doesn't make sense to me. Have you seen like the old ballots? Of, yeah, they're, like... they're terrible. No, 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 no. Like the 2013 ballots. Honestly, yeah, oh, they're let, terrible. Let me pull up something. 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 This is. I think your stream will like this. Uh, one moment. I, I, I this is some melee history. Uh, oh, yeah, in case you guys are wondering, like, why I think top players shouldn't ever get a ballot. First of all, conflict of interest. Like, dude, what's stopping me from ranking certain people, like my competitors, lower than me, and ranking myself a little bit higher than I should be? Because nothing. it's good for my, you know, yeah, nothing's stopping me from doing that, and it's good for my, you know, my sponsorship, my potential opportunities. It's like, dude, like that's just wrong for top players who get a ballot. <laughs> Uh, but then, like, what if someone else who is a balloter does the same thing? Like, yeah, well, I don't know. I someone not... has huge regional pride and puts players significantly higher because of their region or because of their character. Yeah, like, that they, can they happen. Should be, they, sh they should be called out too. But I think it's like less likely than a top player who has a very, very clear conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, I'm also of the opinion that it should just be like the melee stats people that do it, not like fucking random tos and randoms the random tos yeah. do, do i count as a melee stats person or am i a yeah. random to you 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 the cool. somebody that clearly looks at data all the time uh-huh um, all right i'm gonna send you something this is the best ballot ever made sure and objective also, skill the second reason is that top players tend to base rankings off of like skill like quote-unquote skill and like yeah. Their perceptions and friendlies rather than tournament results, which results to like a huge dissonance and like it's like, okay, sure, maybe this guy's really good in friendlies, but like he doesn't perform well in tournaments. Like, but no, 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 no. He's like, he's a definitely a top ten player. So when... funny you say that, because the thing I sent you directly relates to what you just said. Please yeah. click the link I sent you and Mewtwo show King's screen. form? Oh my god. This is Mewtwo King's SSBM rank twenty thirteen ballot. This is what he submitted. Why did he wait? This is 2013, right? Yes. And he ranked Mango four. Four. Yes. Why? Just what? Keep reading. Just keep reading. It gets better the further down you scroll. Falcon sucks. Uh. <laughs> Extremely underrated. Seven on bad days. Depends on the Something controller. Something never change. <laughs> uh, he's just ranking people lower based on their character. Doc That's sucks. So cool. But his results are consistent and high in brackets. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Check the officer one. It's so cool. Also took a game off my sheet. And went 5-4 five, or 4-5 four, five of HBox Puff and Friendlies. But it's really bad for spaces. My Fox 4 and 2 Stockton and Friendlies. And Shiz 2 and 3. Stocked him and Brack. What the fuck does this even mean? <laughs> this is why I think top players should have ballots. This is what I mean. Yeah, that's also like the bigger reason, actually. It's like, honest to God, I would never trust somebody like, I don't know, Shepard Lima to have a ballot like this because he would totally base it off of like friendlies. Damn, a little call out. Oh, well, Shepard Lima calls out all the time. He he deserves to get caught out. Sheesh. I heard Tom. he's 3 0 S S-Fat this year. Confirm IDK. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? Hey, yeah, you know. You know. And then the, the DHF one is pretty good, aka. Uh, does he even play? Does, <laughs> yeah. does a guy I'm ranking even plays melee? <laughs> The random 6.5, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't played in these, so I don't IDK. <laughs> that's the that's should never get a ballot. Eh, I don't know, this is pretty good. One conflict of interest and two they just base yes. it off of like perception rather than actual results. Okay. The first thing I'm sending you is the ballot head to head, which you can adjust based on this lovely website that Amp Sinister made. The second one of these is a wins and losses full on spreadsheet including non-ballot players at regionals and at relevant events that are not considered locals. Interesting. 
It's not perfect, but it's very good. I love how Zane just has three losses to Magi. Okay, I'm gonna be completely real. Like, I, I, you can agree to disagree with me, and there's definitely panelists who agree with me and panelists who disagree with me. I want to know your opinion on this, okay? Do you think that Doc Lee and Don't Test Me's results should count in any capacity for any player? I think they shouldn't count against Zane, but they should be counted as legitimate wins. Okay. So I do think in the case of on, wait, Mango wins on Zane or wins on like a secondary a character secondary who's character. like like a, a top fifty ish player. The top thirty. Okay, that's I think, that's I think that's reasonable. I think for Mango's case though at LACS that should be counted like directly against him against HBox. That is a reasonable take as well. I'm I'm under the opinion that but Mango's like, Mango, Mario. Mango basically DQ at Genesis. So it's like, yes, I, I don't think that should really count against him as like, oh my god, he has like Mateo loss. So it's like, dude, he could have just DQ'd it. It would have been the same thing. Because like, there are people who DQ's are counting. Too. There are people who are counting Mateo as having a mango win this season. Yeah. I, so personal like, take is that don't test me is not Zane. Doc Lee is not mango. I agree. For I, I don't. I don't count these wins or these losses against Zane or Mango in any capacity, and I'll like. Because like count you have to like, like, I don't count the dog like the dog is like a top one hundred ish fifty to one hundred player, yeah. and the Zane loss like the Zane wins are like a top thirty player, top thirty to fifty player. Yeah, but I like, I'm not gonna penalize Zane for having quote unquote multiple Magi losses when they're all to drunk Zane or yeah. to a Roy. Yeah. It's like uh like how I would put it is like you have to evaluate it based on context. Like for instance, like uh like he could have just DQ'd at Genesis and none of the, like the Mateo and Taj loss doesn't mean anything, essentially. Uh but like L L A C S where it's like, alright, you're pretty far into the bracket. I think it would have been the same if you went box if you went in your main, so the H box losses count. Um mm -hmm. It's pretty similar too for SDJ where he went Marth. It's like, all right, that that counts. Like, uh, I I, I disagree on the SDJ one, but that is a reasonable opinion to have because a bunch of panelists have the same opinion. Yeah. What I also don't think is if you go down to Zane's losses and you're like, ah, oh, he lost to Nurok with Icy's. You know, I think maybe oh, Cody's yeah, that won. that should, should these are some count. pretty bad losses. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Nurok, by the way. Love, lovely, lovely. That's that, sh that okay. Where did the SDJ loss come from? Oh yeah, don't test me. Okay. Don't test me at at a at a main state. Wave dash. Wave Same dash. thing. Yeah, I mean Wave the Icy's loss like that counted. So I mean for Nur losing to Nurok with Icy's, I don't think is relevant at all. No, yeah, it's not. To me, I, I wouldn't count that. I think like at the end of all of this, it's like you don't penalize Mango that hard for like the Mateo and the Taj loss. You, you you dock him a little bit for SCJ, you definitely count it for H box. For H box. Oh, the the do it. yeah. That is a reasonable statement. Yeah. It's personally, like, I don't think him losing a second time to H box, even as Fox, makes that much of a difference. Yeah, it really doesn't. But I guess the question is where do you, where would you have him rank? Because I think the top three is pretty pretty like set. Hey, I think Zane's one. Cody, Cody's a uh, two, J Mook's three. I think that's like pretty set. Most people, and I say most because I know people. There are some people who don't think this, but most people have come to the agreement that that is our top three for the summer. Yeah, it's so obvious that Zane, Cody, J Mook are our top three. Yes. Yeah. Top four is pretty locked. That's an okay. Well, okay. So I've seen four. I've seen four all over the place. Let me talk about top three first. So, so, so Cody's let's, pregnant. Let's just lock in top three really quick. It's uh, Zane. Cody Schwab, Zane, uh, Cody Schwab, Jamie. Like that's Jamie. that's just really obvious. Okay, so yes. that's our top three. So yes. where do that we go? Also, from what here? I have is my top three. So there's a handful of players who could be four. Uh, depends on what you value. Ma uh, the only other player who's won a major is Leffen. Mm -hmm. He won LACS. That's a very impressive, you know, a very impressive win. No one else has a major win under the belt. Mm -hmm. Leffen. A lot of people are putting four. He's not very active, and head to head wise, Moki's got some pretty good head to head. So I've seen people put Moki for too. Uh, man, this is a lot of data. So let's look at Moki's head to head. Why don't we look at it? So sure, six and zero on Amsa. That's pretty fucking good. 
I mean, we're touting mages and regionals, right? Like, are, are there In really people that cross just only... table? Yes. Are the people really only counting just mages only? I'm not gonna talk for anyone else. I personally count majors and regionals, and I put some account into locals, but there yeah. are people who will only count majors. I strongly disagree with that, but to right. each their own. Yeah. Um. Okay. So it looks like Moki's head to head, six on Amsa is really fucking good. Two on yeah. Cody is pretty good. Two on Hbox is mm -hmm. good. Uh. Yeah. One on Plup is really good. And you know, pretty Plop. solid records outside of that, aside from like a soon say loss. That's pretty much it. A Zuppy loss as well. Oh, and a Zuppy loss. And an Aqua loss. But, uh. Have to come up. Yeah, yeah. And they say um, I'm not melee stats. SMH. Yeah. Um, that being said, he has really good head to heads, and then like yeah. just cannot win against JMook Zane Mango. Nope. Yeah. And that can mean a lot or very little depending on where you rank Mango. Yeah. And also, you know, lost to Leffen too. That's uh mm -hmm. the uh my ballot. Leffen won a major. No one else has done that. Mm -hmm. I put him I think that's a pretty reasonable take. I also winning think, a like, major. Leffen's head to heads are pretty big. good too, you know. Like he Yeah, two, two one, one on Zane. Two on H God. Two uh one two on Cody. Uh and then, like, doesn't lose anyone else except for Josh, man. Because he also hasn't played anyone else, which is a virtue of him not being super active. But he also won a major. I think if it weren't for LACS, he'd be, like, 8 or 9. Yeah, probably. But because he won that major, rockets himself up. So I have left 4. You can feel free to disagree with that. I think that makes sense. Like, um, like at the end of all this, it's like, major wins matter a lot. If you don't have yes. major wins, you're probably going to be ranked lower. And... Very much very the fact agree. that like he has winning he has a winning record right now on Zane and Moki just does one. not does not have that. Uh uh It's not like he has other good wins too. He has Cody Schwab win, H Box win. Uh it's not like I don't really see right now how Moki's head to head's that much better. Yeah. I mean, 6-0 dominantly on Amza. 2-1 really on Cody, 2-1 on the H-Fox is pretty good. 101 Plup, and then just pretty well against the field underneath the top 10. Has, like, stray losses to other Canadian Foxes, but mm -hmm. pretty solid. Yeah, I would I would t personally rank left and four. Uh, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. All right, I agree with this, and I have the left and four on my ballot. Yeah. Um. So... There's left on number four. Now where's number five? This is the interesting so, part. That's where it starts to get a little messy. Because there's a lot of people in this, like, warped blob of a tier. We got Moki, the aforementioned Moki that we have described before. Mm -hmm. We have Amza, who, aside from his very devastating set counts versus Foxes, has done pretty well. Has a set on Zane, is positive on Hbox, is 2 on Jmook, and does relatively well versus the field. Has a couple of losses to players in the 11 to 20 range. Nothing too egregious. Yeah. Papster. Fiction's gonna be like low mid 20s. Yeah, don't show Fiction this ranking. Uh, so, we're talking about Opsa here. What about Mango? Alright, I'll give you my first hot take of the ballot. I have Mango 5. Why is that? He has very solid head-to-heads at the events he's attended. Like, I, kind of. First of all, I've already described, before, uh, before anything else, I've already described my policy on Doc Lee. So, no, he did not lose to Mateo. No, he did not lose to Taj. I don't think he even lost to Astro J. That's that I know that's a hot one, but I think it I should count think a little bit against Mango's, him. But I think at, Mango's more at the same time it's like, as the spaces. But it's also like Moki's also lost to like, you know, soon say. Uh yeah. Aqua. Mango is really consistent. Moki has losses to players in the eleven to twenty region. Mango is also positive on Amza, even with Cody, very positive on Moki. That that's I think Moki the big one is that he's just is he just farms Moki. Positive on Amsa, positive on Hbox, positive on Cody, one on plus. 
and negative to Mango, negative to Zane. They actually, in regards to their top 10 results, they're very similar. Mm -hmm. And Mango has the head-to-head. -head. Yeah. It's and it's like, not by one set either. He has, like, a very strong head-to-head. -head. Yeah. Like, the, it's like, they have similar winning records, but it's the head-to-head -head that kind of tips it over to Mango's favor, doesn't it? That's, I mean, it's one of the, one of the factors, but mm -hmm. I have Mango ranked 5 on my top 10. So. And Mango's, Mango's given me shit before for ranking him lower. Like, <laughs> I, I gave Amza, I gave it to Amza over Mango last year. I gave it to Leffen over Mango the year before. This year, I'm giving it to Mango over Moki. I, I, I like his results. And it's subjective. You, you can completely disagree with me. There's definitely takes that are just, like, wrong. Like, if you say SFOP is 5, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're, like, looking at it with a, a general objective, like, like, not objective. If you're looking at it with a general understanding of where these players' results, like, what they mean and how good their wins and losses are, yeah. you, you'll make a pretty solid ballot. The one thing that Moki does have over HBox is he's 2-1 and one in HBox and Mango's 0-2. Yeah. Uh, so, like, that doesn't help Mango. So no. it's like it's like what do you value at the end of the day? It's like Moki's two one H box or Mango's three on on Moki, like winning the head to head. Yeah, and, and that I also depends on it, where do you where do you rank H box? Yeah, and H box isn't he's gonna be ranked like eight or nine. Uh, I've seen people rank him seven. I I know a balloter, a very prominent balloter who I will not name, who ranked him over Amsa. Okay, sure. Uh, but anyway, he's H box is in the top five, and uh, no. And when we're discussing this tier, it just seems to me that like Mango kind of just ha edges Moki out barely. Mm -hmm. It's close. Yeah. It's definitely really close. Yeah. Um. So between Moki and uh, H and Mango, um, they. It seems like Mango has it. Does Mango has it over Amsa? Mm -hmm. It depends on what you value get. So mm -hmm. Amza has really bad records versus the Foxes. Zero mm -hmm. five to Cody, zero and something, zero six to yeah, Amza. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's got eleven his... losses to Foxes. Ugh. Yeah, he's got a Zane win. That's good. Two zero one J Mook, three two with H Box, but he also has and and zero one to Plop. He also has lo a handful of losses to players who are in the eleven to twenty five tier. Uh, loss to Lod. If you scroll to the right, people can see it a little more. But lost a lot. Lost to Taskman, who's in the chat right now. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Zuppy. So, I think Foolish, too. Oh, no, Trip. Trip, sorry. Yeah, he has a Trip loss. Wrong page. Wrong year. Yeah. So, not super consistent amongst that range of players. Has a lot of wins on that range of players, but not, like super super consistent mm -hmm. and also if you decide to count locals he did lose twice to elliot at elliot's 19th birthday bash while really cool. drunk <laughs> but you can choose whether or not to count that sure uh yeah i guess it just so Amsa is way less consistent and just loses yeah. the foxes he does have a nice win on zane uh also has a winning record against Hbox and Jmook. I think being too old on Jmook is actually huge. Yes. That does help out. He is he has many set like even though he's 0-5 to Cody, he has like m three set wins on the top three. Yeah. Being having three wins on the top three is huge. Uh yeah. Whereas like Mango has one. Uh so but at the same time it's like Omsa just can't win against Spacey's. And that that does that does hurt a lot. Also, also yes. just can't win against Plup too. It's also worth noting that Mango, with the except, I believe, with the exception of no, never mind, never mind. I was ignore what I was gonna say. Yeah, and at least at his last couple of tournaments, Mango has outperformed both by placing and results. Uh, Amza this yeah. year that tipped off LACS and Gommel. Mm -hmm. It's funny too because at LACS he wasn't he was sandbagged. <laughs> yeah. So that's 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 uh I imagine that's probably a slap in the face for Alpsa. <laughs> yeah. Getting outplaced by Doc Lee. Um that yeah, happens. Yeah, I guess at the end of all of it, it kinda really it I 
I, I feel like Amsa, Manga, and Moki are really, really close. I and agree. It, I have it, it five, really six, depends and seven. on like what you value. But even within those valuations, it's like, dude, like Amsa has like the best peaks, but Moki has like really insane records. But I, I'd say like Moki might have one of the more polarizing records in a way. Or no, not polarizing. I think that's that might be Amsa. Yeah, Amsa has really polarizing records. Yes. And Moki very lopsided head to heads. Moki has like he might not win against the top three except for Cody, but uh like there's uh, it's also the same thing for Moki. Like there's just some people he can't win, but then some people that he destroys. Like he Amsa. beats you or he loses to you. Yeah. There's not a lot of like even set counts. Yeah. And Mango, he is somehow the most consistent despite the SG loss. I'm not counting the. I wouldn't Todd say he's the two. most consistent because there's a there's another there's another candidate if you wanna if you wanna if, if you wanna throw your hat within those three. Yeah, but what if there's another player who could be in that tier? Uh, Hbox. Take a look at Plup's results. Uh, okay, but that, that, just, that's just food for just food for thought. No. Look at his results. I know what you're gonna but, say. He went to three majors. Yeah, but doesn't count. He went he to two majors and one. Doesn't region. count. He went to two majors and a quote unquote regional, right? Yeah. I've seen people rank plop seven. Yeah. I didn't do it. I'm gonna actually gonna be completely honest. I abstained. I I thought there's a there's a chart. Uh, there's like a a box on the ballot that says I think this player does not meet the criteria for SSB and rank summer 2023. I checked that for one player. And that was plop. Mm. I think that makes sense. Exactly. He has like no data. He has no data. Like mm -hmm. his results, like head to head wise, his results are flawless. He has no bad losses. His only losses are three times to Cody and one to Moki. And he has a bunch of wins on players like Hbox, Amza, uh, some Marth guy. Uh, yeah, who is he? And then a bunch of players, so some Marth. And then a bunch of players in 11 to 20, like Soonsei, Salt, Spark, and then two on Wizzy. Like those are really good results. And he doesn't lose. He just doesn't enter a lot. Yeah, it's really so easy to not people, lose when you don't enter a lot. But I've seen people rank him 7 above Hbox, because at the events he's attended, he's actually outperformed Hbox at every event. That is been. true. So I think that putting Plup above Hbox in the general tier is not crazy. Yeah. Personally, I didn't rank him. And if I were to rank him, I'd put him 9. Mm -hmm. But just food for thought. Yeah, I, I think that's reasonable. But let's put Plop out of the conversation for now and just, like, sure. say what's valued. Uh, okay. So at the end of this, you value Mango's head-to-head -head over Amsa and Moki. Like, that... I think that's what kind of puts Mango apart, is that he actually has, uh -huh. like, the winning head-to-head uh, over Amsa and Moki. Like, 3 0 Moki, 1 0 Amsa. Win on Cody Schwab, that's pretty good. Um, Loses to Hbox and Jmook. That's not good, but like that's kind of it. Yeah. His only bad loss is S2J. Uh, quote unquote S2J. Yeah, quote unquote S2J. Um, so it's like, so is that what's valued the most? It's not necessarily like the peak wins of Zane and Jmook, despite losing to every Fox, or. Having selectively good matchups, but also bad matchups, uh, is that is that value the most? And I think in this case, it's like it's kind of hard. I think there's an argument for Alden, but I think because Mango has like the head-to-head -head winning record, it seems like it's Mango. Yeah, that all checks out. So yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, this isn't really clear cut, but. It makes sense to me. It's also like Mango's just outplays both of these guys so often. So if you look at it in a placement's point of view, Mango's often done better than both of them. I can't wait till the YouTube thumbnail. Kadoran makes his top 10, and then there's just a big, big old picture of Mango's VTuber head with a 5 next to it. Doran's on the case. Uh, I didn't say me. <laughs> you can make it if you want it. <laughs> I, I didn't say me. Just, just put it out there. You could. I, I could. I could. Anyways, uh, so that, that kind of leaves Omsa versus Moki. I think it's Moki. Like, he just has dominant head-to-heads. More, like, they have relatively the same consistency. But Moki just does better against the field, even if Omsa does better against the top three. Yeah. Uh... 
Mo Amsa has a Zane win, two Jamie wins, which is huge. It's huge. But being 6 and 0 is like, ooh, you know, like, oof. Come on. Yeah. One time. One time, Amsa. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, I feel like if, like, amongst the tournaments that Moki and Amsa has both attended, they, uh, I feel like Moki's often outplays Amsa. If only because Moki just beats Amsa. <laughs> yeah. <the> way there. <laughs> Moki will run into Amsa and beat Amsa. Yeah. That is so like, I feel like Moki just often track. outplaces Amsa too. So it's like, yeah, it, it checks out like the outplacements part. So yeah, I mm. feel like it's probably a Moki. Not that placings particularly matter that much, but I think they matter for the top ten. Like placements matter. I think yeah. once you get outside the top 10, it doesn't really matter. But uh, within the top 10, I think that matters. Because like, at, that, at this point, we're basically saying who's the most likely to win the tournament. I agree to disagree on this one. I mean, like, for, I mean, like, it's a cool stat, but I wouldn't like put placements into why I'd rank a player higher. Well, like, placements kind of indicate like, how like, likely are they to win a tournament. And when I look at the top six, it's like, it? yeah, like, Zane, Cody, Jamie, they would be the ne the three most likely people to win a major, and like Weapon, Mango, Moki are like a step below, but like they could still do it. That's how I'd look at it. I, I don't have the average placements off rip, but I I don't one hundred percent know if they correlate with what the ranking is, at least of the top ten. I don't know. I, I that's what I feel. Uh but I would just assume at this point that seven is Amsa, but I, let's just check. Uh, I have Amsa 7 as well. I like Amsa 7. I like, who would even compare? Like, H-Box, Plup? I've seen H-Box, and I've seen Plup at 7. I have Amsa 7. Yeah, so, between Amsa and H-Box, it just seems like, uh, Amsa just... Amsa, just Amsa has the head-to-head, -head, punches up harder. Yeah. Has more wins on the top three. Yeah, no, it's just so clear. Like he literally has a better he literally has a better J Mook record than Hungrybox does. Yeah, that's game. that's insane. I guess like so, technically Amsa is a little less consistent, losing to like Lot and Trip. Uh, but... Hbox lost to Panda. Yeah, Hbox lost to Panda randomly. So there's that. Um Plup. I don't know, even within this limited data, I have a hard time justifying Plup above Amsa. It's just like his head to heads are good. Yeah, his head to heads are good, but it's like, bro, Opsa has Zane and Zane and Jamie wins. Plup hasn't played either of them. Yeah, and that's that's gonna count against Plup. I mean, that that is a take. Yeah, but I mean, I, like, I, they I, both... I would have put Plup nine. I'm the just, thing I'm is, is that like the things that Plup has, that you know he's okay. He wins a head to head, but he also gets shit on by Cody and Moki, right? Same thing for Amsa. I mean, so does Amsa, yeah. Yeah, so it's like... But Amsa has more wins. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even if he's a little less consistent. Yeah, he has more wins. He punches up way higher. So it's like, even within the limited data Plup has, like, I just struggle to see why why should Plup be above Amsa. Mm -hmm. uh, being 2-0 against Jmook and 1-1 on Zane is huge. So... Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me that... Uh, Amsa would be below Plup. Uh, now this is uh, the interesting part about uh, Plup and Hbox are probably next. So let's just be in a world where we rank Plup. Just to make this interesting. Because I do think it's valid to just abstain voting, uh, putting Plup on the ballot. Uh... Let's take a look at this. 0 and 5 on Zane, 2 3 on Amsa, 2 0 on Mango, 0 2 on Cody. Uh, same thing for Plup, 0 and 3. Uh, 1 1 on Jmook, nothing for Plup. 1 2 on Leffen, nothing for Plup. Uh, loses a head to head. And then, uh, and then Mo Hbox has a win on Moki. Whereas, uh, Plup is zero and one. So the thing that Plup claims is that he has a head-to-head, -head and they both outplace each other. Or 
Plump also outplays his age box. Uh, normally, I would say with a little bit more data, uh, Plump would probably be above age box. Yeah, the Wizzy win, a national win. But the thing is, like, H box kind of just scrapped up a bunch of wins. Like, he has two Amsa wins, two Mango wins, uh, a Moki win, a Jamie win, a Leffen win. Like, those things add up, you know? Uh, and because of that, despite Plup having, like, quote unquote, better results, because there's only just, like, two, like, in my heart, it feels like Plup should be higher. But, like, I'm forced to kind of get the nod on H box for. Just actually going to more and uh, uh, going to more, having more wins. Mm -hmm. It's like I I can't rank H box lower than Plup when you have multiple Amsa wins, a Jamuk win, a Leffen win, uh, a Moki win. It yeah. doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. So. I think it's totally reasonable to not rank Plup, but if if I was forced to rank, I would probably do uh H box and uh yeah so looks good mm -hmm. uh, uh yeah number 10 I think is pretty clearly me right team guy team yeah. Mark, yeah I think, like, the next three that you're looking for is, like, me, Laud, and Aklo. And I think just overall, I just have, like, the strongest overall data, right? I don't know why you're trying to argue for yourself. There's no argument. You're 10. Yeah, there's, like, no argument. Uh, there's no argument. You are 10. <laughs> yeah. Congrats. I just have, like, the the best spread overall. Uh, I have, like, uh -huh. I have the the highest activity. I'm pretty sure I have the highest activity, right? Uh, By results, you are definitively above everyone under you, but you are definitively below the top nine for the summer. Yeah. Number 10. So I have the highest activity. I have, like, few peak wins. I have, within my tier, I have really solid head-to-heads. Uh, Lod and Aklu just don't have that. So. Cool. Ranking myself top 10. Woo! 10 plus, plus 2 minus 2. Alright, so let's talk about Aklo Aklo Lod. So here's a little uh food for thought. Because there is a player who I know some people ranked above Aklo and Lod. I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. But there is a player. This person has it went on Amza. Zuppy? This person also has a win on Soonsei. So it's Zuppy. And a win on Zuppy. And a win on Polish, and a win on Axe, and a win on Zamu, and a win on Swift. And their losses this year are Amza, Joshman, Kadorin, Leffen, Mango, Moki, Rishi, S2J, and Zane. I'm talking about Triff. Oh. Shit. Because those are some pretty good results. Yeah, I completely uh, forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those are those are very strong results, that's for sure. Uh, okay, so... No, oh, that's actually something to consider, actually. Uh, one, I, one on when, I heard this, when I heard this for the first time, I thought that was crazy. I thought Triff was just going to be 13. Yeah. And then I looked at it and was like, huh, that's actually pretty good. I did rank Trip 13 or 12 or like under Aklo and Laud, but I think it's a valid. It's not unreasonable. It, I think it's valid. I think it's not unreasonable, even though I thought it was unreasonable at first glance. Like at, at first glance, it seems unreasonable, and then it's like, actually, is it that unreasonable? Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm definitely higher than Triff, but is Triff higher than Aklo and Laud? Uh, so. 1-1 one, one on Amsa, that's huge. And mm -hmm. then win on Axe, then losses to me and Moki, loss to SCJ, losses to Josh Man, but but then like wins against Sunsei, Polish, Crudo. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Uh, 
So basically, the biggest thing for Trip is that his one one on Amsta. And that's a very good stat to have. That is good. Let's take a look at uh Aklo. Aklo is one on Cody. One two against me. Uh one two against Moki. So having a Moki win is pretty good. Two on fiction, two on none. Oh one to Josh Man. One on to Crudo, two on to Magi, oh one to S Swamp. And two one on Spark. Uh so like Actually, not the strongest, like, records against the field, I would say. 1-1 one, one on Zuppy. Uh, 0-1 oh, against Ken. Huh. So, actually, Ken's like, a pretty good player. He's good. This is exactly what we're talking about here, though. We're trying to decide number 11. And, yeah. Uh, the, the thing but that also, Aklo has... Aklo won Redemption Rumble. Sure, whatever. I don't really value regional wins that high. Uh, if you won Redemption Rumble, would you value it that high? I'd probably still rank myself top 10. What does that change? <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, well, like, nothing changes if I win in Redemption Rumble. What, I have one extra win on Aklo? Maybe. Yeah, what does that Maybe. change? Does that make me top 9? Uh, does that put me above fucking... Maybe. I don't know, does Maybe that put me above Plup? Is that what you say? Maybe. No, maybe it wouldn't. Maybe no, uh, maybe Justin, it doesn't I, change anything. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it does. Um, a so person a in the X one Smash Camp. Does that mean he's like top ten? No, I, I exactly. It doesn't mean shit. Also, Valkyrie in the chat says, "Is it Salt just over Aklo?" To which I say, "I think Salt will be somewhere between twenty and 15. I've seen people rank uh, Salt in the top like fifteen ish. I don't think she's gonna be ranked. 12 or 11. Yeah, no, that's... Like, she, like the yeah, lot so, of wins are like, pretty solid. A lot of wins are good. I'm, I'm skipping a little bit because I'm just mentioning because someone's bringing it up in the chat. Mm -hmm. But a lot of wins are pretty good. Has a couple of solid wins in the general, like, 20 tier. We can go over it a little bit more later, but doesn't really punch up very hard, whereas a lot of the people in the 11 to 20 people, in the 11 to 20 tier do punch up and have taken sets off of, like, the top 10. I also feel like whereas, Salt's... Uh, Salt uh, has not done that yet. I also feel like Salt's not a very consistent player, too. Yes, yeah, Salt has losses to Billy Bo Peep, B Bats, uh, like, what is it? SDJ, S, uh, I feel ooh, like SDJ, Flash, etc. Yeah, so it's like, so like, not that any of these players are bad, but they're not like top twenty players. Also, you're just kind of proving my point that reading a, winning a regional doesn't doesn't do anything. Well, just because Redemption you have a regional win, that doesn't. Uh, Redemption Rumble was a major. No, what? No way. What, so is Wave Dash Rumble. also a major? I've seen people put Magi 11. Dune. I, I think Wait, this what? person's muted. Unironically? Person's muted. So, I've se no, someone said I think Magi should be 11. Oh. Um, I've seen Magi as high as 13 on people's ballots. John Co., where do you think I ranked Magi? I don't know, not 13? Definitely probably like outside the top 20. I ranked Magi 25. I think that's reasonable. I also think that's reasonable. Yeah. But uh, we're, I'm skipping ahead. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Magi won Combo Breaker. That's a major. Combo Breaker? Yeah. Was that's a major, right? That's not a major. That was not a major. Well, we're calling everything a major now. I'm not calling everything. Yeah, you're basically. If you're saying Redemption Rumble is a major, then everything's a fucking major. Redemption Rumble. Lo was a Lost. Major. Low Tide City. That was a major. major. It's Summit. It's a December Summit. It was Christmas Summit. No, it was it like the, the. It was a fucking regional. Come Twitch on. Holiday Bash was a major. No, it wasn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Why are we just calling everything a major now? Not that that just major. takes away from actual I'm majors. Gonna be real. I'll be real. I think that major upset and collision might not have been majors. No, they're, they're nationals. Not. What? I don't okay, think everything. Okay, do major. you think Redemption LTC Rumble was not a major? Do you think Redemption Rumble is more prestigious than major upset and collision? It could have been. No. If everyone, what do you mean could have been? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. If everyone didn't sandbag and people, every single person entered that tournament, didn't play weird characters, didn't play drunk, and it was just sixteen players, absolutely, then it would have been some. Yeah, caliber. but that's not that's not what it was. But it could have been. Yeah, it could have been, but it wasn't. 
I could have. You know, c c counting Redemption Rumbles like actually helps me because that just boosts my Cody Schwab win. Yeah, but you it wasn't. There are, the I, person I, I, I even have an 13. incentive to call it a major, but it wasn't. Come on, give it up. The, the person who ranked Magi thirteen, Magi has three Zane wins this year. Oh my god. I'm what, and did they also rank Zane like two and three? Because yeah, Zane you had know. three Magi Zane losses. Zane lost to Nurok, Magi, uh, uh, Mom, Prometheus, yeah, I, Vintage. I also don't know uh, what you're at. I don't know what you're on saying how Major Upset <laughs> and Collision weren't Majors. What the fuck? I didn't say that. I said they could. Like, they were like borderline. Yeah, they're... Uh, okay, I don't care about what ifs, Justin. I care about what is now. Like, what okay. is what they are. And uh, right. Redemption Rumble was not a major. Major upsets right. and well, collisions are majors. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm yeah. done. Um, and that being said, like Aklo, I don't care that Aklo won Redemption Rumble. I care Redemption about his Rumble. head to heads, his wins and losses, and his head to heads. And he's got some pretty good head to heads. Yeah, like he has uh pretty good peaks at beating Cody Schwab and Moki, but that's kind of it. Oh yeah, he also has a win on me. That that counts. He does pretty well against the 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 field well, as a whole. He's pretty active. He's got wins on a lot of players in the eleven to twenty five range. He has wins on like two Saint Crudo. Uh, well, of course he has wins. We're the expect box the the unnamed box player who is not on this head to head sheet, despite having top fifty results. I mean, but um, <laughs> Swift, like good results on this tier yeah and besides genesis hasn't really had a bad tournament like worst losses aside like even with his genesis his worst loss is s -Fop. and like for how active he is most of his losses are people in the top 20 uh and okay, he punches so, up so first like he has a one. so first of all uh you you saying his wins on like you know the people that you mentioned, that's negated because he's expected to have those good wins. If and that's reasonable, top, but he top. also punches up. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up, that he does punch us up. And also, yeah. the expectations are actually higher for him because it's not just about having wins anymore, it's about having good records. I'm seeing 0-1 yes. on Josh, man. 0-1 on Swap, 1-1 on Zuppy. Trip is also a 1 on Josh, man. Yeah, 0-1 on Kem. Uh, you're saying, did you say that Swap's worst loss? You think it's worse than Kem? I think Kem will be ranked higher. Not, I think I would bet a lot of money that SFOP will be ranked under Kem on the top 50. Yeah, so it's like, okay, so like, you know, that's uh, that's something you gotta account for, is like, yeah, uh, you know, you have to evaluate based on their placings that certain things are an expectation, not actually an accomplishment. Uh, so, yes. he is, he has a good solid record, despite some hiccups here and there. Uh, yes. What does Triff have? Triff has uh, an awesome Amza. Uh, what else? Good. Like, how is his overall record? He has a win on Axe. Uh, loses to Axe. me. Loses to Moki. And that's the thing. Like, if you're ranking a player here, right? There's not a lot high. Like, the thing with the player in the 11 to like 15 range mm -hmm. is that not everyone's gonna punch up. Yeah. Because if you just rank people on their peaks, Moff would be top 20, mm -hmm. and Moff is not top 20. Um, you so, have to, like, evaluate how they do against the field, how again they do against each tier. So, like, a player such as Trip and such as Aklo, who they punch up sometimes but are relatively consistent, like, you have to, like, shift the expectations down. Yeah, like, yeah, You I know. punch up more than those people do and are consistent versus the field. You are 10. Triff, Laud, Aklo, they don't punch up as much, but they're still pretty consistent. And if you want to value raw peaks, then look at Zuppy, look at Sudsei, where... They are beating Moki. Zuppy has a one on Moki and Alms. Mm -hmm. Maybe you rank him 13. I've seen people rank him 13. Yeah, that's something to consider. But you have to look at consistency, too. Yeah, like, yeah. Zuppy had a bad Genesis, lost to the Swooper, uh, and that's Bobby. He uh, at, at Bodied, which was a Michigan regional, he lost to Vorperol, who is a non ballot is pretty bad. Jigglypuff player. Yeah. But it's like those are also one off sorts of things. And like, no one has a per I mean, some people have perfect records, but you can't expect everyone to have, like, a genuine perfect record. Like, you can't rank Zuppy 48th because he lost to Vorpal. You can, but you're wrong. Yeah, I agree. Consistency is important. And, uh, it seems like to me that Triff and Aklo have similar consistency, but, uh, 
but Aklo just has more peaks, so by default you give it to Aklo, right? Yeah, I agree with that. I think Aklo is 11. Yeah. Oh, but uh, we're skipping steps here. What about Laud? Well, I think Laud, at, like, Laud is the player who most exemplifies what I've just talked about with, like, punching up. Yeah. So he has an Amza win. That's mm -hmm. the only win he has on a play sorry you and you and you and Amza mm -hmm. are the only wins he has in the top 10 which mm -hmm. is still pretty good like that's the most out of anyone actually um but he's also like very very consistent his worst losses this year are all gonna be top 20 players salt Sunsei, suppy those are his worst losses this year He's entered a decent amount and has beaten a bunch of players within, like, the 20 to 50 range. Has a win on Magi, has a win on Axe, has a win on Two Saint in Peach Puff. Not that it matters, but, like, win on Two Saint, win on S2J. Like, he does really so consistent versus that field, and he punches up a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I can see an argument for Lot over Aqua, honestly. Well, that's the thing. There's though, an argument for they, it. They, it seems like to me that Lot and Moki, or no, not Lot and Moki, Lot and Aqua have similar consistency, right? Yes. But Aklo just punches up more. Aklo punches up. Does he punch up more? Yeah, he has a win on he has a Moki, me, win, Moki a... and oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that's better than so, yeah. Lods too. So yeah, and Aklo is also a lot more active, so he will take like he's more yeah. likely to take. Losses. So like they ba they're basically the same thing, except Aklo punches up more. Yep. Yeah. So okay, makes sense to me that uh, number eleven's Aklo, and then number twelve's Lod. Uh, I think 13's trip. But... Yeah, 13 makes sense. Okay, so before we get to that, let's actually just briefly compare Lod and Triff, where they both like. <laughs> it's actually funny how similar their records are. Uh, yeah. But he has a win on. At least Lod has a win on me. Triff does not. And they both are very consistent. So it just seems like yes. Lod's just above Triff. Mm -hmm. um, who would be. Well, Triff also does pretty well versus the. Uh... 11 to 30 ranges, as uh, Edwin has stated. Yeah. Oh, you know like, what's also not... Josh Man, you know what's not included SGG, in uh, Triff's loss is uh, Rishi. It's it's there. It's on the, the second sheet, because Rishi is not on the top 100. This is only about ballot players. Yeah. So, yeah. the second sheet that I send you has his losses to players outside of the ballot. So, the Rishi loss is there. Yeah, I'm going to stop looking at the head-to-head -head thing, because it's probably too confusing. Yeah, so there's, like, ballot players or people who aren't listed, like, like Drepin and, like, Flash and, like, Hex, who their wins and losses matter, but they aren't on the ballot. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... So, who would be next in line? Like, after we compare Trip and Lod. So, I can give you the candidates, or I can tell you what I think. Uh, give me the candidates. So, pretty strong attender, Zuppy. He's got an Aklo win at Gommel. He has a Lod win at Collision. He has an Amza win at Collision. He has a Moki win at Collision. Interesting that a lot of this is on Collision. But also has a couple of, like, other solid wins at events. Uh, beat Two Saint really, really badly at nightclub vip a couple of other solid wins on top 50 or top 50 level players like null mot money uh etc so he is definitely a candidate uh josh man beat leffen at lacs That's that alone good. is a pretty good win but if you look at his other results has a win on trip as well win on magi went on ben went on aklo at fate so he's another person up there spark he also beat so I'd say Joshman is another person who's a candidate. We talked about Salt a little bit earlier, where Salt is relatively like good against her tier. Mm -hmm. Doesn't punch up like at all. Yeah. Like has two lot wins, but doesn't really punch up to the tier above, but has a very solid set of records against the players in her tier and a little under it, even with a couple of like sus losses uh underneath. Like yeah, you know, like Flash and Billy Bats. So I think Salt is a contender here, too. Um, did I say Sunsei yet? No, I don't think so. Sunsei had a phenomenal start of the year. Uh, very good major upset place. Uh, very good battle of BC. Pretty solid Genesis. Kind of fell off towards, like, I don't think it fell off. I mean, just I had, like, a kind of rough last month. Lost to Lunar Dusk, Quang, Swift, uh, Fiction. 
Zamu. So it's like that you're calling fiction. Not that those are. I mean, he's a good player, but he's not going to be ranked top twenty. Yeah. We're, like it's like how none. Spoiler alert! Like none is probably not going to make top fifty, even though we all know he's like a top fifty level player at the bare minimum. Yeah. It's uh, terrible. It's, I mean, he's uh, got other stuff going on. Uh, but Suse has a lot of win, has a Moki win, has a Spark win. I think he's in the conversation. Um, Magi, if you, depending on how you value the, uh, I'm just listing a bunch of players at this point. But Magi, assuming you value the Zane wins, has three wins on Zane this season. Um, also has a pretty solid spread. Beats Joshman twice. Beat uh, won a tournament over Fiction. Beat Cam. S2J, Salt, a bunch of other bunch of players, has a little bit of a puff problem, lost to SDJ and Palpa, and lost three times to Swift this year. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, speaking of which, Swift, uh I don't think he's in this tier, but he had a he's had a very interesting year when we get to him. Mm-hmm. Um last two players that I I think the last player I'll bring up is I don't think Axe is in this conversation for who is after uh, Aklo. Um interesting. I think Polish. Well, I mean, we can look at Axe's results, too, but he's got a lot of losses this year and hasn't really, like, punched up very hard. Um, like, he has the, uh... What, what's the word? He has two wins on you. Yeah. And that's it. He has two losses to me. He also has two losses to you, and he doesn't have a lot of wins in, like, the range of player from 20 to 11. He has a win on Polish and three wins on Spark. But he also has losses to CPU Zero, losses to Chango, loss to SDJ. Twice. Uh, yeah, Trudeau, Fiction, etc. So, like, not not as strong for Axe. I don't think Axe is in this conversation. He's definitely after, but I don't think he's in the conversation. Mm-hmm. And then the last person that I think is a pretty solid chance, I think Polish. Uh, yeah, quietly a very good year. Quietly, yeah. Uh, it depends on where you value the wins, but, like, relatively consistent has a couple of like sus losses here and there but relatively consistent has yeah. a cody win doesn't like punched make, up really have. hard with the cody win and has a bunch of other wins on like top 20 ish players the cody win helps a lot mm-hmm. and speaking of cody win uh i mean i have put zamu a lot lower than this but some people have put zamu in the top 20 uh zamu also has a cody win mm-hmm. uh has a bunch of other solid wins the lcq run was amazing yeah uh beating like student say and a bunch of other players. And also has what like a chem too. Has a handful of wins on the top twenty and the top like twenty to thirty player, like Spark. Uh what is it? Two on Ginger, one on Chem. So there's a lot of players to think about and talk about. Uh personally, I have I have Zuppy next, because he punched up the hardest out of everyone. Although he's had some like pretty devastating lows towards the beginning, he's cleaned it up very, very well in the middle point. And it's not that I'm like it's not that I'm valuing his new results over his old ones. It's more that he has so many good results that those early results seem more like outliers than the norm. Yeah, I mean, let's briefly take a look at it. I mean, Zuppy has two Saint, uh, and then KJH Mod is good. Two Moki wins is good. Amza. Amza win is good. Lunar Dusk. Lunar Beast. Lunar Beast, like, there's a bunch of people who wouldn't be Lunar Beast. Yeah, I mean... You included. Uh, on on that play. <laughs> hey, 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 What happened the last time you uh you, you talked smack about an ice class? Uh, it doesn't count. Uh, uh-huh. But, you know, he has a loss to the Swooper, Borporol. Yeah. That being said, not as bad as loss as I thought he'd be. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, he is relatively... Like, as in, based on the events that he's entered, he's done pretty good. Mm-hmm. The two chem losses were at, um, two chem losses were at Nightclub VIP, a double related by chem. Skurzo and Vorporal were at Bodied. The Swooper and Bobby Bigwells were at Genesis. Uh, I don't remember where he was. Okay. Uh, yeah, it makes sense to me to put Zuppy here, because, dude, like, it's two Zuppy wins, Dom still win. Yeah. That's, that's higher than, like, like, even me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like he he punches up really hard. Yeah. Uh Ludlud, I have Polo I have June Book forty four. Yeah. Uh so that makes sense that Zuppy's next online. Uh will be fourteen. Yeah. I I my that is fourteen. What? 
That is 14. Oh. Wait, what? Trip is 13. Yeah, oops. Lod's 12, Aqua's 11, you're 10. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> so, next in line, my intuition, it's like, okay, in terms of people that punch up, because, like, I'm starting to, like, think about who punches up the hardest after this, mm -hmm. and my immediate thought is Josh, man, because of his left and That is who I have 15. Yeah. Because uh, of that left and win, that, that matters a lot. Uh, Beat Aklo as well at Fate as a little cherry on top. Ooh, ah, an Aklo win. That, that, that's like an almost top 10 win. Yeah. And Triff win. That's pretty good. Yeah. Like, just pretty well against that uh, that, that general area. Dude, imagine if imagine if he got an H-Box win. I'd rather I'd rather not. I love H box. I hope he wins every tournament ever. Uh let's look at the losses. Uh the Khalid loss, not too pretty. Khalid loss. The Emps loss is like a meme that is not real. Oh, okay. I mean That's I'll, like a I'll that's a that's a giant meme. That's not an actual loss. I would trust the loss to S two J at Redemption Rumble, lost to Swift at um uh LACS qualifier or LAC not qualifier, the LACS uh Gauntlet, lost to Khalid yeah. at Gommel, mm -hmm. and then besides that, all of and two losses to Magi at Common Break. Yeah, but scrub. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just seems like to me, it's like at this point, it's like who punches up really high while maintaining like relatively Relative reasonable consistency. consistency. Josh, and yeah, like it seems like next in line is Josh Man. Uh, not as high peaks as Zuppy, but like pretty good overall. So makes sense to me that. Josh man is uh fifteen. Now intuitively who's next? Who who punches up the next highest if we're not counting uh three of Magi Zane wins? Uh -huh. So Soonsei has a win on Laud and a win on Moki. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But also a bunch of losses. So That's not as good. Meanwhile, Salt so this is where I actually put Salt next after Sunsei, even though Sunsei punches up more. Uh, but I've seen a lot of different people. This is where it kind of gets, like, really messy. I've seen people put Magi here. I've seen people put, like, Sp Spark here. I've seen people put Salt here. I've seen two two Saint retired, but I have two Saint ranked 21. Yeah, two, two Saint quietly had a really good year. And then retired. Yeah. <laughs> um... So yeah, Moki win, and then uh, Lod win. It's two very good wins. Uh, losing to Quang and Lunar Beast and Swift. Hey, Lunar Beast. Zamu, Fiction, those aren't the greatest losses. So they're definitely less consistent, I but think if it still punches up for really the last hard. Month, I think if it weren't for like his last month of tournaments, I think I would have ranked him like probably above Josh Man. Yeah, and then Josh Man popped off. he didn't really off. take a lot of... Yeah, Josh Man popped off, and he didn't i mean last month i wouldn't have ranked josh by top 20 yeah even top 30 almost but yeah, um but he showed up yeah so i think soon goes under i i have salt next because i like salt's consistency but if you want to just purely based on who punches up the hardest it's soon yeah or magi if you count the 3-0 on zane i'm gonna count those as like top 30 wins not a okay. top one win hey well, magi is 3-0 on zane uh, let's look at Salt's results just before I uh, evaluate Sunsei. Uh, so Salt doesn't punch up. Has two wins on Log, which is pretty good. Doesn't really punch up aside from that, but has a a, a nice array of wins mm -hmm. on players of different tiers. A Polish wins good. Spark wins good. Zamu wins good. Uh, Chem wins good. Those are all players who are going to be like in the, the 15 to 25, the 15 to 30 range. Mm -hmm. A bunch of wins on players who are underneath that tier has a, a win on like Bobby Big Balls, on Frenzy, KJH, Mech, Mott Money. Very active. Yeah. Losses wise, uh, some bad losses. B Bats, uh, Billy Will Peep, Flash, STJ, I, technically SFOP, technically Fiction. But overall, what do you mean technically fiction? Oh yeah, just... technically fiction because tech fiction's not going to be ranked. Here. I mean, you want to look at his results, you can. I, I know, but... I know. Uh, so he just seems to be like somehow less consistent than Sunsei. Am I am I uh, reading this right? I think Salt's more consistent than Sunsei. 
Because Salt also entered alone. Yeah. Actually, no. These losses are definitely better than Sensei. Cause they are, I yeah, they're better Sensei than Sensei. has like, a Quang oh. loss. Yeah. Like, I, I think that I, I would rank Salt over Sensei. I did rank Salt over Sensei. But, like, that's kind of just, just it, though. Like, the Quang loss is, like, yeah. the, the biggest loss. Uh, yeah. Donkey Kong moment. And there's a couple of other losses that are, like, not. I, I guess like that does too. But yeah, mm. but it, it is still it is still a, like just the Quang loss. I can see an argument for Sunsei over Salt. The thing I is, actually okay, so like Salt, salt like... is definitely way more consistent, but has two wins on Law, whereas like the only thing Sunsei has over Salt is Moki, right? Which is a pretty good win to be it's pretty good, but I don't know if that outweighs like the two But bad also, losses. yeah, the other thing is that Sunsei, besides those wins, has a Spark win, an SDJ win, and that's it for top 50 wins, right? Yeah. Like, if you look at Salt, got what, like, Polish, got a, a Two Saint twice, Axe twice, KJ8. Yeah, I'm going to give the Spark, nod Spark, like, a lot of wins. So I think Salt is next. Yeah. Crazy that Salt is, the like, the number one Falcon player on the rankings, just in in retrospect. But for that's now. how it is. For now. Until, uh, until, uh. Wizrobe comes back mm -hmm. to activity. Yeah, Wizzy will be back, and uh, he will show how show how scary Falcon is. Uh, yeah. so let's see. Do you what... have Sunsei next? Well, who would we compare Sunsei to? Uh, so the players I have next on the ballot, are like Sunsei, Polish, Axe. Yeah, let's Tuesday, compare Sunsei Spark. and Polish. Uh, sure. So Polish is punched up very hard. They have a uh, Cody win. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's really good. Cody Schwab. Has also a handful of other solid wins on, like, top 30 players. Crudo in this range as well. Beat Crudo. Uh, beat Axe. Pretty solid win. Has a couple of player of wins on, like, top 50. Uh, defeated Moth in the very difficult matchup Peach Ice Climbers. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. beat Null. Beat Nun. Beat Panda. Beat Preeminent. June bug. Okay, why is also Cinder Master 3000 here? <laughs> I don't know, man. Why, why, why is this here? <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Uh, something slipped through the cracks. It's like, wow, what a notable win for Polish. Uh, yeah. Then the losses. Um, not that... I guess, like, the Joji loss is the worst one. That's about it. Yeah, and Joji's still, like, a top 100 player in the day. Yeah, and, like, like Mech, not. I guess... It's I mean, Mech's also going to be top 50. Like, guaranteed top 50. So, like... Actually, are, am I convinced that... Polish is, is above Sunsei? Yeah, is that actually... Maybe. <laughs> That's up to you. No, but I like, think it's why? reasonable. Why should, why should Sunsei be above Polish? Because more win... Like, I think... So. Okay, so the reason I had Sunsei above Polish is because although Sunsei didn't have, like a high amount of wins, the quality of the wins he had was higher than Polish's quality of wins, including the Cody win. Well, like, no, sorry, except for the Cody win. And although Sunsei wasn't super consistent at towards the end, still is more consistent than Polish. Because, like... Really? Sunsei, I think, I think so, at least. How? I can, convince me otherwise. Okay, but so, like... The only bad losses Sunsei has in regards to, like, not top 50 players is Lunar Dusk and Quang. Yeah, and what about what about Polish? His worst loss is Joji, and that's it. One second. Polish is no, that's just incorrect. Polish is more consistent. Huh. Yeah, what are you, you know talking what? about? You know what? Yeah, am I missing something here? Is Ben somehow a worse loss? I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. You is Tim Master 3000 supposed to be in the losses? Is that, is that what it's actually supposed to be? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm comparing stuff. Polish, Spark. You know what, actually? Yeah, no. I think Polish is above. You've convinced me. I'm moving Polish above. above. I'm moving Polish from Sunsei on my ballot. You've convinced me. Yeah, I mean, because, like, your reasoning saying that Sunsei is more consistent, like, wait, is that actually true? It's not right. No, it's not true. Yeah, you've convinced me. You've convinced me. I made my first change. <laughs> nice. Nice. Convinced. Nice. Good job. Convinced the balloter. Convinced.
Um, it's like Sensei does have better wins by like one. Uh, yeah. And even then, it's like that peak of Cody Schwab win is pretty, pretty juicy. That's really good. Plus, like you know, he has a good breadth of lens. Like he has like Crudo Khalid. Khalid win has aged really well. <laughs> uh, Depends on where you put Khalid, but yes. Yeah, that like that probably that's like probably. Because I've seen people put Khalid as high as thirty and as low as like fifty. That's still pretty good. It counts. Yeah, yeah. CPU zero win pretty good. Uh, yeah, Axe CPU win is pretty good. So. Yeah. Speaking of Axe, I think Axe is next, but. Yeah. So like. It's up to you. Yeah, I I would put Polish. Put Polish at seventeen. I'm down. I I have Polish seventeen now. I've I've changed my ballot. Okay. So what about Sunsei and uh, Axe? Yeah, Polish than Sunsei. Uh, Axe doesn't really punch up that much and is also less consistent. Like he has two wins on Kadoran, and then a handful of wins on like the range of uh twenty to thirty. So as like a yeah, swift I'm, I'm win. really just Axe's best win, huh? That's strange. three spark wins, a Polish win fiction three times so yes you are axe's best win that's times change but he also has losses to chango yeah uh, he's like way less two to consistent. cpu zero sdj i don't i think it's soon say over axe. yeah like, no this is just I so don't... very clearly soon say and i think that after this point results start getting a little wonky well who would be the <laughs> other comparison point because uh like uh you could put magi here yeah let's Spark compare magi here. and you could put samu Magi and so, Sensei. Uh, Magi has multiple Josh Man wins. Yeah, that's good. Uh, has three Zane wins this year. <laughs> may I remind you? Yeah, three, three Zane. Zane, Zane. Three O on Zane. Uh, a win on Spark. Two wins on Salt. Or sorry, two wins on Spark. A win on Salt. Two wins on Josh Man. But also a lot of losses. Mm -hmm. Lost yeah. to uh. SDJ, Swift, Palpa, three times. J Salt. Crike. Well, J Salt's a local, whatever. But like, wait, what? Crike. J Salt was at a regional, like a local, like a, a local event in Louisiana. So I really don't care about that. Okay, Crike. Very much. Crike. Yeah. No, it's definitely so, Sensei's next. Yeah, I'm. I'm just putting Sensei 18. And I think I think Axe is also above Magi here. Um. Then who? <laughs> but you. Who would be next? Uh, uh, Axe, Magi, Spark, Two Saint, S Two J, Crudo, Zamu. Let's look at S Two J. So S Two J has a Mango win. Yeah, Mar of. Marquez. Yes. So S Two J kind of has a Mango win. S2J also has multiple spark wins. Wins on a win on Triff, a win on Zane. A win on Don't Test Ooh. Me and Wow. A SJ. win on Zane and Mango. Yo, honestly, S2J might be top 15. Win on Zane and Mango. Shit. Damn. Sheesh. And Kata? Damn. <laughs> uh, right, but, uh, Josh Man uh, win wins good. Josh Man wins good. Polish wins good. Mm -hmm. Two on Spark is pretty solid. A Triff wins pretty good too. Yeah, SJ yeah actually, solid. like. SJ solid has wins. like a very like solid but, top twenty wins, but also has a lot of a handful of losses to players within like the thirty to fifty range. In yeah. a similar sense to a lot of the other players, have lost to Bobby, two losses. To, <laughs> sorry, two losses to Fiction, lost to Khalid, lost to Ginger, lost to Magi, two losses to S Fat. So Eesh. four losses to Spark. Yeah. Eesh. So I don't think SJ is here. Yeah, he's in the he's in the conversation, but he's not here yet. It's like his wins looked really good, and then the losses is like, oh, maybe not. Yeah. Um. So is next in line clearly Axe then? I like Axe here, but I think it's debatable. Like who who are we arguing between Axe and then who? Axe Spark. We're talking about Spark. Uh okay, let's talk about Spark. That's uh not the player I so thought. So Spark was. is really, really active. Goes to everything. You give him like a, a nickel, he'll go to your tournament. Yeah. But because he's extremely active, he actually punches up kind of well. He has an Aklo win at Genesis, he has a Kadoran win at a at a Wisdom Melee, mm -hmm. has three wins on Salt, 
Four wins on S2J, two wins on Polish. It's pretty oh good. Oh my god. So but it has oh, a I, lot I, of losses. I don't. I don't. A lot of losses. Lost to uh Holy shit. But honestly, the losses aren't even that bad. Like, yeah, two actually, losses to, to Azul and two losses to CPU. Not that bad. Yeah, the lowest loss is like Azul and CPU zero. That's not nearly as I bad. Could, as I could honestly, I might put Axe over Spark, honestly. You or so, a spark over axe. Yeah, honestly. I was like, what? I think um, spark over axe. So let's discuss. But also, spark has losses to frenzy and Ben and all those players as well. So like, it's I not think like so does axe, right? Yeah, but less. But also, spark's more active. I don't know. Actually, I think it's. I think it's still axe. I think axe is still more consistent. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's let's evaluate this more uh, concretely. Right. Sure. So spark's worst losses are. Uh, Azul, Azul, and Ben. Ben, wait, is Ben worse lost than CPU zero? Probably not. So Ben, okay. So Azul, CPU, <laughs> CPU zero, and I'm gonna just name players in like the thirty to fifty range. So Azul, CPU zero, Frenzy. And if you scroll down, SDJ. a little bit, SDJ. Yeah. Whereas X has SDJ, CPU zero, and Chengo. Which are all pups. Uh, so it just seems like, it seems like to me that they both have similar level losses. So also, Spark has a, a shroomed loss. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, so it's like, they both have similar level losses. I, I don't think they're actually either is more consistent than the other. I think given the amount of events that Axe has attended, and the amount of events that Spark has attended, I think... Consistency wise, I think Axe takes it. Yeah, I think but Axe like barely edges it, but it's not by barely that much. edges it out. It's not, not that much. much. But I, I, I would put Axe over over Spark. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's let's compare. Also, Axe is also Axe has is three zero on Spark. That is true. He's also three zero on Fiction. Or yes, like three one. Uh, yes, he has two of my two of me wins. Uh, yeah, what, he what punches Spark's up more. Best win? Spark's best one is you. Yeah, me and, and then what? And then Aklo. That's pretty good. One on Aklo. That's pretty good, yeah. But he's also like, I, I want to say even or negative to Aklo too. It's not like, not that it devalues the, the, the win, but, you know. Yeah, I guess like since Axe is barely more consistent and it's like, it's not like they both have like amazing peaks, it seems like Axe should take it. So is Axe just like number 19? I have Axe ranked 19, yes. Okay. Seems reasonable to and me. And then Spark 20. And then it all hell breaks loose after that. Alright, okay. This is just gonna take way too long if we, like... Do like, all of it? So, yeah. we split so it just show me your streams. list, and I'll, I'll just go rapid fire. Alright. I'm gonna send you my list, and you tell me exactly what you think. Ready? Right, I'm just gonna... We'll, we'll do a thing where, like, we critique. I, I'll, that I'll just critique. That is my top yeah. 50 list, and these are the players that I have deemed Did banished. You as just in, send it to me? I sent it to someone else. Yeah, I was like, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna send you the fifty six the fifty five ish players that I have ranked. And then immediately afterward, I'm gonna send you the players I have deemed banished, as in players who are under the category of top fifty who I do not believe will be ranked. Okay. Give me your hot takes okay. and your thoughts and I can we can discuss. Do you say uh, S2J, Rudo, uh, Kem, Magi, Zamu, Fiction, Ginger, Swift, SFOP, KJH, Ben, Shroom, SDJ, Bobby Big Balls, Mech, Scarzo, Khalid, Frenzy, uh, JFlex, Mop Money, Mateo, Smash Poppy, uh, Grike, B Bats, Moth, CPU Zero, Panda, Shabo, Preeminent. And then outside of that is uh, Nut, Malachi, uh, Prof, then. Vanish zone. 
banished zone. What's that supposed to mean? Are they already ranked top 50 or you just didn't order them? Uh, there is a thing that you can click for this player is worse than every player I've ranked. And I clicked that for those players. Wow. Wow. So you put in Noel, Curve, Azul, Casper, Dawson, Essie, Franz, JJM, Lucky, Nun, Stiv, The Swooper, uh, Umar, Webbins, and Calvar. Yep, that's my list. Any questions, any interesting takes, any surprises? And I've seen people put a bunch of these players in different spots too. Like, I've seen players rank Essie. Um, I've seen players put Moff as high as 30. I've seen people put Magi as high as 13. Well, first of all, if anybody in chat is uh, questioning some of these placements, let us know. And uh, we'll, we'll expand. We'll yeah, hit me, analyze. Hit me. Right, what, what do you think? Yeah. That, that, that's my ballot. Well, uh, I'm going to go with what some people are probably thinking. It's like, yo, Fiction's this low. Isn't he like ranked 12? Let's look I at mean, his results. He is not done the best this year. Uh, has a handful of non-top 50 losses. He lost to Polo. Uh at Battle of BC, yeah, he lost to Mog, like aka that. Malachi. That's also at a. Uh, hey, shout out to Mog. Mog's a beast. We shout. I lost to Mog at a uh, LACS. Uh, lost to KGH, also at LACS. Mm -hmm. Uh, and like consistency wise, honestly, isn't that that bad. But it's it has telling when like, his doesn't best have win. as many wins. Yeah, his best wins. Like yeah, his axe. best wins are like Salt Axe Spark. Yeah, like, when, like he last does year, well. Like last year, he was getting like top ten wins. And he was punching up more. He has like worse losses this year. He has like similar wins to players in like the twenty, like the twenty to twenty five range, like eighteen to twenty five range. But it's like those are players, like wins on players who have like proven themselves more this year, and not on like the top level. Like that, like the, the, the top top end, if that makes sense, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a lot. Like a lot of fictions wins are good in retrospect, but they aren't like wins on like the top fifteen. Mm -hmm. like, he doesn't have. A, he has like a, a one top fifteen win in Zuppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like it's not that he's had a bad year per se. It's just not like as strong as previous years. That being said, retroactively, it sucks how like none is like actually considered a bad loss. Yes, uh, it's very unfortunate. He has other stuff going on in his life, and yeah. uh, you know, he's a father, yeah, a family. Uh, he's and I don't know, it's like the Polish loss is uh, not Polish, Polo loss is like ew, you know? Polo is not great either, so he'll, he'll bounce back. Yeah. I, I'm sure he'll be fueled by this, and yeah, probably. He's gonna be so I, bad, and then he's gonna probably probably be top 15 by the end of the year. It's not like he's a like he's not a bad player by any means. No, like, like anybody that underestimates you're, ballot, you're not is, a bad player. Like anybody that underestimates Sheps, like thinking like oh, he's just only top 25. It's like you're an idiot. Like he's he could punch way higher. He just hasn't yet. It's just like a ranking. Yeah. Like it, it's a ranking for a uh, a people, ranking and you know? skill are not the same thing. They can be correlated, yes. but they're not necessarily like how do you say? There are people who have made top 100 in the last two years who may potentially, like, not may, they will probably never make top 100 again. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, yeah, they're not, like, rankings don't necessarily correlate with skill, although they can indicate, like, their skill level. That's not always the case. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, interesting takes, you know, one thing that, that, that counts out. against fiction, I know locals don't count, but... Ah man, they losing that local. what one Verdugo? Oh, well, you know it's over. It's yeah, over when you lose you know, one Verdugo. You lose the Verdugo, you know it's over. Nah, he's gonna bounce back. He's yeah, gonna bounce probably. Back. Uh, hundred percent. So, uh, maybe another drop that might surprise people is uh, Ginger. Ginger guy just didn't um, really do very much, did he? It's not that he did a okay. He didn't do poorly this year by any means. It's just he didn't enter. Yeah, like. He went to a lot of regionals, but mm -hmm. he went to one major this year, which is Genesis. Mm -hmm. um, I actually don't remember who he beat at that Genesis. 
But I just remember, like, I know his only major was Genesis. Yeah, he didn't. And he did like so he did solid at all of the regionals that he attended. Like, he was very active within. Uh, he got thirteenth at Genesis, beating S2J J Flex, lost his A in Kadoran, which mm -hmm. is like pretty solid. Um, he, I think he won body two. He lost to Mateo at body two, um, but he won the tournament from lose side grants. Mm -hmm. Uh, he won out of the blue, beating Zamu twice. He won Minnesota Monthly Melee, beating Ben. He won. He got third at Wisdom Melee. He beat you. Yeah. Uh, he lost to Zamu and Cody. And which, I by the way, probably one with... of the biggest upsets of all time. Just say. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like, it's not that he had a bad year. Like, it's just that the other players peaked higher. Yeah. And I, he's got his own, like, his own other things going on. Like, he posted on Twitter that like, he'd be taking a, a break, which I think is, yeah, like... Fucking luminosity backstabbing melee. We, we will remember well, that. I mean, we will remember that. I think it's more so, like at, the, like, at the end of the day, a lot of people... I'm not even saying this about Junior specifically, but a lot of people have, like, very unhealthy relationships with melee. Yeah, that's like, just most, true. I think most people in the top, like... I think most people who are above two and tours have an unhealthy relationship with melee. And it takes a lot for someone to, like step back and assess that and be like, yeah, this is not good for me. I'm going to, like, work on this. Yeah. And I, I have a lot of respect for Junior for doing that. Yeah. So, this is completely unrelated Apparently to any Apparently he's going to return by uh, Riptide. Riptide. Yeah. So we'll be seeing him. Yeah. Hope he's doing well. But, uh, yeah. But but because of that, like, the people who are above him, like, Zamu has a Cody win. Mm -hmm. Uh. Magi has a bunch of wins on players in, like, the 15 to 30 range. And because Ginger didn't leave the Midwest very much, he didn't have as many opportunities to play those kinds of people and thus didn't have the – or as, like, diverse of a resume as those other players. Mm -hmm. And Ossify did beat him at a Wimple at one time <laughs> in your chat. But that's – whatever. Yeah. Good stuff to Ossify, shame, shame, shame on them for having a Ossify loss. Uh, yeah. so, I guess some other people that would be asking is, why is Ken this high? Who the fuck is Ken? So, Ken is a Fox player, formerly from Long Island, then moved to Philly, went to Temple University for college, and then ended up going back to Long Island to finish his life. Like, just stuff. And he has quietly had an awesome year. He beat Aklo, he won a regional over Aklo. He took a set off of Crudo. He is very, very consistent in Tri-State, having five sets on Mott Money, four sets on Hacks Money, who despite having top fit, whatever, four sets on Hacks Money, two sets on Zuppy, a lot of solid wins against other players as well, like has a win on Crudo, has wins on a bunch of players in like the 50 plus range, like Lucky, 4 4 Cray, uh, his J Flex 2X, and his losses, he doesn't have any like really bad losses. He lost a KGH and Bennett Collision. Yeah, that's and not like, that bad. That's it. Mm -hmm. Like, every other loss he has taken is against a player who would be in his tier or, like, around, above. Mm -hmm. And I, I I say this because Hacks Money was not going to get ranked this year. Yeah, that's a this spoiler summer, alert. At least. And a spoiler alert. Um, I would put Hacks, like, around 25-ish. It's not a bad loss. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. So, it's just, I, you know, I, he hasn't had he's that He's really splash. consistent and punches up. He hasn't had that, like, that big splash at a major, but one day <laughs> he will. Yeah, one day. Um, but he he's done really well. Like winning a regional over like top eleven players is really good. I think some people. Which is also might why Smash be... Daddy is on my list. Yeah. Well, I think some people might be shocked to see. Hey, I thought Shroom didn't really play. How is he ranked thirty three? So some Shroom lore. He works at Nvidia alongside uh, S Fat and S Two J, and he's been surprisingly active at uh Nor. I almost said SoCal. NorCal <laughs> oh my uh, events. God. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Dude, you'd, like, you'd kill me if I saw that. <laughs> but despite that, <laughs> at the events he's attended, he's actually done pretty well. He's got a win on Salt, <laughs> win on Spark, wins on Preeminent, Dawson, KGH. Dude, what the fuck uh, is Shroom? Probably he's all the way at the end. Oh, what the fuck? <clears throat> and losses-wise, like, aside from a couple of losses at the NorCal event, like the NorCal uh, regional, mm -hmm. Nightlife or yeah, the NorCal lost. Classic. <laughs> yeah. 
And these play like it's 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 hard to evaluate what a PPU loss be. Like PPU is still really good. I would not blame anyone for. Yeah, that's like PPU, top honestly. forty loss. At, at Same with Cactuar. It's like it's very hard yeah. to make anything off of his losses, but he has really strong wins on players above him in the tier without taking bad losses. I think there are most people have shroomed in like the forty ish range. <coughs> All right, this, <coughs> my this some was, more. Yeah, my 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 Cody Cold. Is kicking in. Uh, Akir was not active. He was not eligible on the top 50 list. Hmm. Um, at Akir. But yeah, so I, I have Shroom like in this general range because I liked his consistency a lot at the events he attended. He did well. And a lot of his losses, it's hard to extrapolate like what that. Well, like, okay. I, I don't think he has taken bad losses. My question to you is, okay, he has wins. His two best win is Soul and Spark. Yes. And KJH. Yeah, that's per that's three top 30 wins. That's pretty good. So is that better than like SDJ and Bobby Big Balls? More consistent. So if you look at SDJ's results, right? SDJ has, first of all, a loss to Stiv. Um, at a... So I forgot the name of the tournament. Uh, LSCS. A loss to Stiv. Has a couple of losses at Texas events like the Leaf and Palpa, which is like... Not the greatest. Also has a lot to Aslil. Mm -hmm. And then his wins are also Salt and Spark and Magi. Mm -hmm. And Axe. But is also a lot less consistent. Which is why, if you have not noticed, they are one off of each other on my rankings. Mm -hmm. And I liked Shroom's consistency over STJ's inconsistency. Okay. Even if STJ did peak heart. Yeah, that, that sounds reasonable to me. Uh, I mean, let's just check Bobby just for, you know. Bobby, because where is a lot Bobby of years, Bobby at? Big Balls, he's like towards the, the middle. Bobby Big Balls is a player where in years past, he's been really inconsistent mm -hmm. and has like super high, strong peaks, but is really inconsistent. And this year, it's like kind of not that. He's been very consistent. Like, yeah, That's he has lost a Fable at a regional, but he lost a Quang. He lost to Fable, but everyone else he's lost to is a top 50 player. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, mo a lot of wins on SDJ, a win on S2J, pretty solid wins on a bunch of, like, top 30 to 50 players, and the win on Zuppy to punch up, too. He's pretty consistent. Yeah, not bad. Just not as consistent as Shroom. Yeah. Okay. Uh... I guess, uh, we could evaluate Khalid and Frank. Uh, Sure. Also, Junebug will make it on the top. Uh, I, I would be shocked if Junebug didn't make top 50. End of year, I'm pretty sure Akira makes top 50, like top 100. Um, and I think Quang makes top 100. So I think it's going to be 3DKs. Uh, Wait, but you don't think Junebug's top 50? No, I said Junebug's top 50. Junebug will be top 50 this summer. I don't know about like end of year, but where, he's going to be top 50 Junebug? this summer. Uh, 44. Did I miss Did him? Just not, yeah, I think you just didn't paste him in. Uh... He's 44 above Craig. Yeah, oops, I... Oh, no, yeah, he's above Craig under Smash Daddy. I mean, Quang isn't going to be top 50, because, like, although he had very high peaks, he had really bad losses. Um, At Battle of VC, he lost to Croagunk and Amrak, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that, that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, so, like... So, yeah, let's, uh... I guess let's, uh... He's going to be top 100 for sure, though. Yeah, and also, just to confirm... That like scares us is high mostly because of his Jake Nuclear, right? So, how do you mean H there? The, the H is not even next, like remotely close. So, Scurzo has taken the role that Bobby Big Balls has played for many years. He enters everything. He is a player who went to he went to the nightclub, like you know the the New York City local the nightclub, and as the first seed did not make top eight. Hmm. He lost to the Asian one and Lewis for ninth. The Scurzo is a player who went to, he goes to the Trail Invitational and goes one and two in round one pools, losing to Trail and losing to top player Yasu, a non-PR, former PR, ex-Marth player who now plays Fox. He lost to Killablue at Invincible. He lost to Ingen when he went to Japan. Won the tournament and lost a lot set to Ingen. He also beat Jmook. Yeah. He also beat Zuppy. Pretty he also wins. has pretty solid wins at Midwest events. He has three wins on Ben. He has a win on J-Flex. 
but he's so inconsistent. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how do you evaluate that? And this I'll is him somewhere. If you notice, so this is my region of extremely inconsistent players. Mech, Scurzo, Khalid, and Frenzy all in a row. 38 to 41. They punch up very high, but are extremely inconsistent. Makes sense to me. That is the entire range. That is my 38 to 41. And like, you know, I'm I'm assuming that Moth is that, but even more extreme. Like, you know, J Mook win, but like Moth only has two wins. Which yeah. is why. And one of them is, like, a player who will not be on the ballot, mm. but also is, like, a, a top 25 player. Yeah. It's hard to evaluate Moff's data. Like, I could see Moff anywhere between 30 to 50. Uh, it's just that Moff also has some losses to, like, Loon's J-Pop. Uh, a <laughs> bunch of losses to Vu, who I actually think Vu could have been on this ballot. Why is but, Vu, um, like, separate here? Uh, just error. Yeah. Uh, uh, to my understanding, when data is pulled into the sheet, if someone changed their tag between I like their, their Smash GG prefix, it, it duplicates it. Yeah. Um, so Sly Fox drop Vu. So. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, a DK gonna be ranked top fifty, I believe, for the first time. Yeah. JJ, uh, Junebug. Uh, Junebug had a standout win in Polish and a lot of just solid wins against the fifty to seventy range while being relatively consistent. Mm hmm. So, went on Dawson, went on JJM in a literal fucking impossible matchup. Three wins on Joji, two wins on Crike, three wins on Mog. Uh, just, like, like, just consistent. Like, doesn't have any, like, egregiously bad losses. Yeah, and just actually has reasonable wins that... Yeah, the Polish one punched up really high. Yeah. yeah. Uh... I just like the consistency a lot. Panda has an H-Box win, but he's only 49. He only has an H-Box win. That's about it. He has a Bobby win. Uh, H-Box. Pretty... Yeah, Two Trudeau wins? Like, Wait. Are, are you sure Trudeau he should be this low? Those are, those are local. Those are locals. Oh, okay. Uh, like, yeah. I can see him being higher... But like, like, I I could move him up to that range of like inconsistent players, but like, it's it just that hard because he doesn't. Like, it's not that he's he, he just, just doesn't hasn't done him. very much outside of like, if he didn't beat Hbox, he probably wouldn't have made top fifty. Yeah. Okay. I could see him higher though. I'm I'm I I'm. I'll look into his data. I would not be surprised if, like, after the stream, move him, like, above Junebug and Smash Daddy and stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna move him up. I I'm gonna potentially move him up Smash Daddy for now. Yeah, uh, that being said, looks like the top 50 resume is pretty solid. I guess the biggest thing is, like, wow, uh, we're not ranking none, huh? I mean, he... That's probably, like, the biggest his ambition. Head to heads. He has a win on Fiction, and Fiction stock isn't particularly high this year, and that is his only ballot win. He, his wins are... I, I, he has two ballot wins on Essie and Umar, but both of them I put in the Banished Zone, as they will not be top 50 on my ballot, so... Yeah, well, and he also has losses to Stiv, Vu, This and is Dunya. probably proof that rankings don't necessarily reflect skill and if you don't think that none is capable of coming back into like maybe like even top 20 zone like you're an idiot like you're crazy you're an idiot. Like, like none could easily Scram. do it he just you know going through his own life when he decides to he's yeah. go, you know he's a father you know yeah. he's got fa he's a family man yeah so that's probably like the biggest omission it's like damn where did none go but aside from that like everything there's a couple else. of others lucky and null aren't there either and i think a lot of people would be surprised to see like these people are normally like staples of the top 50 and both of them are not on my ballot yeah i guess we're lucky it's like this doesn't have very much and then has a lot of losses yeah no, for Null, it's more so he doesn't have a lot of wins. Like, yeah. his losses were, like, relatively okay. Like, Typhoon and Stiv, not really. SE, also not, like, an amazing... Like, still, like, top 50, but not, like, too bad. But doesn't really have a lot of, like, wins. Like, has two wins on CPU Zero, one on Prof, one on Lucky, and one on Curve. And a lot of the players who he's beaten are, like, not on the top 50. And Lucky's only wins are Preeminent and Malachi and CPU Zero, which is not bad. But he has, like... That's not, like, a lot. 
to go off of. Like, it's three wins on players in, like, the bottom end of the top 50 with a handful of losses, like Aura, JJM, H2. So. Yeah. I mean, these guys didn't make it for the, you know, the midpoint, the summer, but I would it wouldn't be surprised me if they claw it back for the later half. Yeah. And I'm sure there'll be other players who could claw their way to the top 50. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I have... I think there's a player who is barely not active right now that if he goes to majors, will be top 50. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is Blue, because he has been doing amazing at the Midwest Regionals uh, that he's entered. Just okay. not... Just not... Uh, that active. Major. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, seems like our top 10 is pretty clear, and then, like, mm -hmm. 11 to 20 is, like, reasonable and then the rest is kind of like kind of low-key crap shoots yo huff so one last thing for huff um edwin budding and i talked about every year we talk about who we think the breakout star who like no one would expect to be top 100 is gonna be my pick was jello yeah and then that guy the that from PNW. yeah and then he won a tournament over albert and Siv. But I picked a Gen this was january this was a january i called jello was gonna it was gonna pop off but then he dq that genesis Hey, hey, okay, you know what, you know what, that happens, that happens. Yeah, alright, well, anything else to talk about? Um, I think that if you willingly went to Gommel and had a cold, you should be not allowed at Smash events ever again, because I've had a fever of 100 degrees plus for the last two days, and it's your fault. Sheesh.